What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Gig Nation. Jonathan here. Today we're going to be looking at a bunch of changes that Grubhub has been making. So a lot of these changes look like they're going to be very good for Grubhub's business and they are marketing them like they're going to be great for drivers. But in this video we're going to go through all of these changes that we've been seeing out there on the road and which of those are actually going to be good for drivers and which may not be as good for drivers. But before I hop in to these changes, make sure you've joined the Facebook group Gig Nation. I'll leave a link down below. That's where we can talk about everything gig economy related. And also, if you're looking for any new gigs, check out gigsharks.com to find all of the best gigs in your city. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at all of these changes that Grubhub has been making. And in my opinion, they're starting to look a little bit more like DoorDash. This is probably good for Grubhub's bottom line, but is it going to be good for drivers? So let's first pull up an email that I got a ways back about three weeks ago about place and pay orders. So Grubhub is coming out with their new uh, driver card and encouraging drivers to start uh, accepting these orders. Basically, they're saying that as of December 17th, you have to start making these place and pay orders. Uh, but don't worry, drivers are seeing a 45% increase in earnings on these orders. So I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical that they're actually going to be paying more for these place and pay orders. And I'm also skeptical that that uh, turns out to be more per hourly earnings. It might be more per order, but these orders take significantly longer. So when you actually do the math and divide those earnings per hour, are you actually getting paid more or is it taking much longer. We're kind of going to have to wait and see, uh, wait for them to roll this out and see how it kind of shapes out. So here is why it matters. If you're in a city where you have to be above that partner level, you have to be at least premier to get some blocks coming your way so that you can get orders through Grubhub, then you have to be accepting a larger percentage of your orders in order to move up. You have to be hitting uh, that 90% threshold in some areas and even higher than that if you wanna move up and schedule blocks earlier. And if you need these blocks in order to get orders, if that's kind of the way your city works and you're not seeing enough uh, instant offers come through when you just go online, then all of a sudden you're gonna have to take these place and pay orders, you're gonna have to pay with the card. Uh, but if you're in an area where you can schedule blocks, even if you're at that partner level, if there's just a ton of blocks available, then you don't have to worry about acceptance rate. You're not gonna have to worry about this place and pay too much. If you try a few of them and find that the boost in pay actually compensates well for your time, you know, maybe you found restaurants that are uh, quick enough on that turnaround time that you can actually get in and out quick even when you place with the card, then this could be a win for you. This could actually be pretty good, but uh, needless to say, I am skeptical. All right, now let's take a look at another feature that Grubhub recently added, and that is that instant cash out feature. Grubhub drivers have been waiting for this a long time. I recently made a video about it, and this is definitely a boost, definitely a bonus, uh, because a lot of people like to get that cash out as soon as they make money on the app. And if you bank with Chase, you actually get this cash out feature for free. You don't pay a fee. If you don't bank with Chase, then you pay a 50 cent fee. And you know, if you wait uh, for that total earnings to, to kind of add up to a high enough amount, that 50 cent fee is not gonna hit you too hard. So this is definitely a bonus for drivers, anyone that needs to get that cash and money out as quickly as possible. And you know, once again, it's a feature that other apps already have had for a long time. And it's about time that Grubhub has added this feature. Okay, so now that we've knocked that out, let's take a look at another change that Grubhub has sneakily been making in my opinion. And there's no email that was sent out. There's no uh, new legitimate feature that we've seen. But what I'm seeing at least uh, here in Seattle is a little bit more uh, density of these lower paying offers. I'm seeing all of a sudden some offers for like four bucks, five bucks, and I never even saw those at all in Seattle in the past. So it looks to me like Grubhub is actually making uh, some sort of pay cuts on certain orders. They're kind of tweaking that pay a little bit, and this is definitely not good for drivers. We don't want to see pay being lowered. We don't want to see that Grubhub pay uh, less at the end of each order. It is nice that Grubhub also gives us 100% of tips and shows us that tip money up front, but the reason why Grubhub was the best food delivery platform for drivers at least in my opinion was because that base pay was so high plus you got all the tips it was really just a win-win uh, but as we saw uh, this last quarter with Grubhub earnings they really got hit hard they missed big and it hurt their stock price so I think Grubhub is kind of tweaking things around and this is bad news hopefully Grubhub uh, you know doesn't get too low on the earnings because it's going to be really bad news for drivers and a lot of drivers are going to have to look for a new 
uh, platform, a new side hustle, or a new app in this case. So let me know what you think. Do you think these changes have been good or bad? Leave a comment down below. Let's get a conversation going. And let me know what you've seen rolled out in your area, in your city, because Grubhub is definitely making changes regionally. So some people are seeing stuff sooner than others. Some people have been complaining about these low pay offers for a while. I've seen them here in Seattle and I've heard a lot of people, a lot of subscribers on the channel talk about them. Uh, and I'd definitely be curious to know if Grubhub has already kind of rolled out uh, this place and pay in your city and what you've seen on the offers if they're paying more. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for all of the latest gig economy news and updates.